All right, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the difference between absolute pressure, gauge pressure, and vacuum pressure. So imagine we have all these things here at sea level. We have a house, we have your car, and we have this tank full of something, uh, some gas or something. All right, so what we do is we first of all, we say that we have a P atmosphere. And in thermodynamics and fluids, uh, usually at um, the sea level, we say that the atmospheric pressure is around 101 kilopascals. Uh, now this is actually an absolute pressure. This is So we're going to say that this is ABS, just subscript ABS, uh, and that just means that it's 101 kilopascals more pressure than a perfect vacuum, or you know more pressure than just a space full of nothing. Um, for example, let's, uh, let's draw a little reference um, thing here. So if you imagine that, uh, oops, so if we say that this is zero pressure, we're going to say that, no, I can't write, we're going to say that this line is zero pressure, and we're going to say that their atmospheric pressure is going to be up at this level here, right? The pressure is going to increase as we go in the, the upward direction. So we're going to say that this is 101 kilopascals. So if you imagine something down here, this would literally be a perfect vacuum. So we have 101 kilopascals more than zero. So that's just absolute pressure. So we're going to say that this is equal to absolute. OK, so now what happens is sometimes if you go, actually pretty much if anyone, if you just go look at your car tire outside, uh, there's probably going to be a gauge on here. And if you're able to read that, it's probably going to say, 32 psi. Okay, and this is also if we wanted to convert this into SI units, just car tires are usually written in psi. Uh, this is the same thing as 220 kilopascals. All right, now this is actually what we call a gauge pressure. So I'm going to write this here gauge, or also sometimes you see psi g. This means that this is 32 psi higher than the absolute pressure, and the absolute pressure is the atmospheric pressure that's all around it. Um, or also, yeah, so or we'd have you know 220 kilopascals more than 101 kilopascals. So if we wanted to write the absolute pressure of what's going on in this temp, uh, in this tire, well, the absolute pressure would just be um, well, we can write this. We would say that p absolute. Uh, is going to equal p gauge. Ooh, it's writing really slow. p gauge plus uh, p atmospheric, right? So if we want to graph this on our little graph thing over here, uh, well, we're going to be up. We're going to have more pressure than just the atmospheric pressure of the absolute pressure of the atmosphere. Uh, and actually, at this level, this will be well. This is two hundred. Um, you know what, let's write this down here. This will be equal to 220 plus 101. So this is equal to 321 kilopascals absolute. Right, so there's 321 kilopascals more than our zero pressure reference. Okay, so we can write that here. 321 kPa. Um, this is absolute. And then what we get in here is this difference well, 321 minus 101, that's going to be 220 kilopascals, 220 kPa, and that's what we said this. This is our gauge pressure. So gauge is just the difference uh, from you know the absolute pressure to whatever pressure we're measuring. Um, and in this uh, in gauge, if it's positive, we call it gauge, and if it's negative, we're going to call that vacuum. So we're going to get to that in this tank. Uh, we say we have some tank here, and uh, let's say that the absolute pressure. The absolute pressure in here is going to be equal to 81 kilopascals. So if we go put this on our reference here, we had 101, 321. This is obviously not the scale. Uh, <laughs> let's put this here. Uh, and this level here is going to be 81 kilopascals. And again, this is very, very not to scale, but that's OK. So this is, you know what, I can't even read that, um, K. P A absolute, 81 absolute. So we want to find out what is the vacuum pressure in here. Well, similarly, same as gauge pressure, all we need to do is just, well, we'll have 101 minus 81. So this is going to give us 20 kilopascals gauge. Uh, sorry, vacuum. What am I talking about? 
vacuum. I suppose if you really wanted to, you could write negative 20 gauge, but that they made a whole word for vacuum, so don't do that. You don't want to write negative 20 gauge. Uh, but if you want to think about it that way, I guess 20, you know, 20 kPa vacuum way would be sort of the same thing as saying negative 20 gauge. But yeah, don't say that. Anyways, so yeah, there we go. So we have zero pressure. The absolute pressure is just you know how much more than a perfect vacuum we have, uh, and then gauge pressure is how much more than the absolute we have, and vacuum pressure is how much less than the absolute pressure we have.